We're looking at a conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus, who has come to Jesus by night inquiring concerning the uh, purpose of Jesus, the identity of him, noting that no one can do the things Jesus does unless somehow God's very power is resting upon him. Jesus cuts swiftly to the chase, you might say. Unless a man is born again, he can't see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus is taken aback by that. How can a man be born when he's old, when he's set in his ways? How can there be that kind of complete <clears throat> renovation of his life? And Jesus uh, picks up that thought and carries it forward now as we come to verse 5 of chapter 3. Apocrythe, from Apocrinomai, Jesus answered. This is the deponent, uh, so it's passive in form, active in meaning. Jesus answered. Jesus, Jesus answered, and then using the same formula again, driving home even more deeply the point, amen, amen, lego soy. We just saw that last time, and the uh, entire purpose of this, of course, is to say that these words have a huge amount of weight, that they are to be taken with utmost seriousness. Jesus speaking, I say soy to you singularly, to Nicodemus, eon may, Unless, uh, literally, if not, Ion takes the subjunctive, and idiomatically it comes over into English translations, unless or except, tis, a certain person, a certain man, uh, same as was stated last time, unless a man, genethe, uh, is uh, the word from genao, I give birth, this is the passive, aorist passive, singular, unless a man is born, has been born, ex hudatos, out of water, kai numatos, and spirit, out of water and spirit. Now, of course, I think you know that that has been a quite uh, uh, controversial reference. What does it mean when Jesus says, unless a person is born out of water and spirit? It's way beyond the scope of this brief exegesis of this verse to do any lengthy theological treatment of it. By and large, the view is either that Jesus is actually making water a mandatory prerequisite to conversion, which is a problematic hypothesis when compared with some of the accounts of baptism that we find in the New Testament. Uh, another view is simply that Jesus is indicating baptism, Christian baptism, water baptism, is going to be the conventional, ordinary, predictable, and virtually uh, universal practice of the church, as indeed it has been, and that that is in fact what's being suggested here, that water baptism is tied uh, deeply to baptism by the Spirit, that these two should be viewed as more or less coming together, but that one is not in some sense automatically conferring the other. Uh, there is, of course, a huge difference of opinion in history about that. A third view is simply that Jesus says water, kai numatos, and the word kai here is really uh, simply giving an explanatory comment because kai can also have the sense of uh, something like even as. So you could say, unless a person is born of water, even the spirit, that idea. I'm not uh, necessarily taking a position on any of this, but I think you know that that little set of terms, hudatos, kainumatos, has been the subject of a fair amount of, of uh, consideration, so I'll <coughs> simply leave our discussion of it at that. Jesus continues, u dunatai, not able, the same word we've seen used several times now in the preceding verses, not able, es uh, Remember before he said, not able to see, the kingdom of God. Now he ups the ante slightly, not able to enter Astain Basileon to Theu, into the kingdom of God. To see it is one thing, to enter it is another. Unless a person has already, this is notable, been born again, unless they've already received that gift, they're not able to see it. Then the entry of it seems to be tied to something that has a little bit more of a, uh, uh, you might say, a solemnity to it, unless they are born of water and the Spirit, almost as if there is a kind of ritual aspect to the, as to the uh, uh, experience of entering into the kingdom of God, that those are the necessary prerequisites to that entry. It can be seen, and a person has already been born again simply to see it, but then to enter it has this additional weightiness to it. 
and so possibly that's what's going on here but anyway that's the uh, that's the sense of the language that we have before us at this point